All right, I've just finished two videos reviewing uh, Chavant clay, and if you haven't seen them, I'll put a link right here to uh, both of them, or at least a couple of links to both of them. And uh, I'm going to get back to work on this guy here. One of the things I'm going to do, though, right now, is ah, paint the uh, feather. Now, some of you are new to my channel, and so you don't know. But what I did, I several, quite a few years ago, I took a clay sample. In other words, I just took a piece of clay to a local paint store and uh, they matched the color of the uh, clay to, uh, there we go, that's the brush I want, to the color of the clay. dark wax to make it look like clay. It doesn't affect the wax and it doesn't affect the casting of uh, the feather. It just changes the color so that you can see it. Now the background is uh, black and so it just basically disappeared in the background. I think that's about as much I'm going to put on for now. I think uh, it'll dry and then I can do it later on down the road. I think for now I'm going to work on this uh, shoulder right here. I gotta get some WD-40 with this chair. <laughs> I may have moved from my studio to here for the winter. That squeak has come along with me. Pretty well rusted, roughed in. Let's uh, go ahead and figure out uh, what we're going to do as far as the clothing goes. Remember, I've got to uh, emulate what I have over here is the excess skin off the back of his arm.
All right, what I'm doing is I'm c cutting up some of uh, Chavant's, let's see, I got the name here, La, La Beau Touche HM, or High Melt Clay, and uh, it takes a high temperature to uh, soften this clay, but I'm going to, uh, uh, I'm going to try this out. And uh, I'm going to be sculpting a friend's dog that he had to put to sleep about two weeks ago. He's uh, commissioned me to do a portrait of the dog. Two separate little portraits. One for the uh, box of ashes and one for uh, his desk. So the first one I'll do will be the one for the, uh, the box of ashes. And... Uh, it's, it's not a happy thing to do, but uh, because I knew that dog from when he was a little puppy. So to me, he was like family too. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to be using this high melt clay. It takes a lot of uh, heat to uh, soften it. And I'm going to try and see what happens when I put it under a light here. I am going to put him aside for a while while I work on my friend's dog. I'm going to go back to cutting the clay up.